This question requires a little background. Uh, it's a bit nuanced. There are an estimated 200,000 properties in California with environmentally contaminated soil and their groundwater. Most are located in urban areas with access to public transit. For example, abandoned gas stations, strip malls. Until 2019, the vast majority of these sites could have been remediated and brought to beneficial reuse, including housing. I am a, that's known as brownfield development. I'm a brownfield developer, former environmental engineer, find dirty dirt, uh, do the engineering, make them available for housing and, and uh, manufacturing as well. Unfortunately, Cal EPA has issued a draft vapor intrusion guideline that would make redevelopment of these sites impossible. Cal EPA's own Department of Toxic Substances Control just completed a study showing that the DVIG, as it's called, overestimates health risk by about 95%. So the expectation of this, of this guidance has already stalled or killed uh, many infill redevelopment projects that are desperately needed to alleviate California's housing affordability crisis and achieve our greenhouse gas emission reduction goals. Okay, here's the question. Have you talked with Cal EPA Secretary Jared Blumenfeld ab about the impasse within his own agency and how it can be, res be resolved so brownfield redevelopment is no longer at a standstill and so more potential housing sites can be developed? I have not. Um, I'd, I'd be happy to receive more information about that. I and mean, what we have seen, and, and I don't pretend to be an expert on environmental remediation um, of contaminated land, um, what we have seen it, it, in a number of different contexts, so something happening now with actually CAL FIRE and unrelated contexts, is you have agencies that will enact rules that are tunnel visioned, where they're looking at um, only one goal without looking at the broader world, like the need for housing. Um, and, and that is unfortunate. And I think that what we have seen in California state government is that our housing function is incredibly fragmented. We don't have an agency level um, housing secretary. There's no de department of housing or house, California housing agency. We have a housing agency that's below another agency. We have, you know, four or five different part the agencies, departments, or elected officials involved in housing. It needs to be consolidated into one uh, housing agency with a secretary of housing who reports directly to the governor so we can stop with the tunnel vision and have enough heft in the executive branch so that you can have better push and pull. Again, we obviously don't want to have you know, people living on contaminated land, um, but you have to view it through the broader lens um, and not be a purist. So I'm happy to take a look at that, have my staff take a look at it, um, if you wanna send that over to us. We'll, we'll send you some more information, just another 30 second background. Uh, what's, what's so unusual about this is Cal EPA's own agency, Department of Toxic Substances Control, has said that this DVIG is in essence unnecessary and, and way over prescribed. Um, yeah. So I'll be happy to send you that information and I appreciate your consideration. Yeah, please do.